Friday, the 20th of September. Looking at Bitcoin and our macro view, as you can see on the chart, we still believe this is way three to four. Can it go further down? Probably not. But let's see how that, how that turns out to be down the track. Complex correction. So we can see, you can see how people look at this from many perspectives. You can see, okay, that, that looks like a corrective wave. However, what we have here is lower highs. So we've got lower highs all the way. And then this one is the, the one that really did it. We get our fixed range volume profile. You can start from here and just do it across there. And you can see the middle point of control, volume point of control matches that resistance level. If we get to get Fibonacci from there to the previous, if we do it to there, it's a 0.68, one of our numbers. If we do it to there, it's our golden ratio of 0.618. So we have a number of ways of looking at it from a Fibonacci perspective. That is the main resistance, all right? So if we say that is the main pit, pivot level and we use that as a reference that makes sense that this is a resistance if we go further up we probably have more to go but you can see how that was hit as a resistance now we can get this tool again and do it from that range which is down here move it across and see see what it gives us so i'll Area value low is where we it varies, but the point of control is still the same. So the top very um, value area high and the value area low varies the way we've done it, but the volume is still in the middle. Therefore, aligned with the six one eight, that's a strong resistance. If we get above that, I will be bullish and I expect to hit that top as a next resistance. So if this was to break up. I would see it to hit that level. This could be a strong resistance and pull back along with the trend line. So it makes sense that this is a shorting position. If the market's really bullish, it will continue up and take out all that liquidity. And then we have a measured move that we won't go into, only for members only. If we put our Fibonacci from the, 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 um, the impulse from zero to one there with that impulse, we get the 1.618 as well, which is also acting as resistance. And if you look across, it's the neckline for this one here, and that makes sense as well. So the neckline on that, which also, if you look all the way across, was support, 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 and therefore it's a resistance. So for many ways it is, and from this Fibonacci, it's telling us it's a resistance. We had this diagonal trend line. The point, the fact that we had a response here and pulled back, it tells me that this was a valid line and we've broken above it. So, you know, from a structural point of view, um, you can say, okay, that looks like a triangle breakout. Does it really fit the rules? It does. However, the other aspect to this, um, a few people will think it's a diamond shape as well. People have done, said that this is a, a diamond formation and it's a breakout to the upside, not downside. So, yes, a complex structure there combined with that. We're probably going to go bullish. We're bullish, but for how long? Well, the, the big major trend line is here. That is a strong trend line. So my guess is that we're going to hit that. We have our Fibonacci set here. So one of these could be a strong resistance as well, assuming that we continue on to the upside. So from that perspective, everything matches up. Now, if we to look back to the other chart, and uh, let's look at the indicators, all right? You can see that from an indicator perspective, this wave trend one, our reference point, previous highs. So you can say, all right, there, there, there. So that's when we're going to be bullish if we break this level. If this trend, if this crosses over like that, that's going to be bearish. So we get this type of structure, it's a reversal, and therefore we've got to be mindful of that. But at the moment, on a smaller time frame, we're not, we're not there yet. 
it's looking like uh, that was an area to take profit. We did that. Did not enter a short. And if we were to just do it ever so slightly, there you go. Maybe some room to the upside. Looking at that, that's bullish. Um, if we put our other indicator, you know, let's see if we've got it here on the four hour. Uh, we haven't crossed over yet. Momentum is dropping off. If momentum goes down, these lines, these RSIs have to come below 50% to start becoming bearish. At the moment, we don't have that at all. So we need to see something like this here to say, okay, the volume has dropped off. We are way above. So nothing there. Wave trend, if you look at it historically, these levels have been pullbacks as well as at times these levels here. So I'm going to keep an eye on that. This uh, this probably has more to go to the upside on the four hour. All right. So that will just indicate the momentum on the daily. Let's put the daily in there. Indicator. Let's see how what that shows us. So everything, okay, even the blue one is coming above. Momentum to the upside. So it's a bit of a reversal. So you can see how would they're bearish all the way through, coming down. Let's look on the weekly. Let's see what shows on the weekly. Weekly, we still haven't made it yet. These signals have to go above. We want to see this crossover as well, above the 50% level. So weekly, we, we're not there yet. Okay, now go back to the daily. What we want to do is look at another chart. Give me a sec. Here we go. When we look at the open interest, um, a bit of bearishness there. What we've done is we've taken out the naked port of control, tapped that one and bounced up. As long as we remain above this daily open, we, we remain bullish. So the daily open is 61760. As long as we're above that, and you can see why, we've got the point of control here. Um, we probably, we're going to range. In my, in my opinion, we might get a, a double top, come back down, and then range, and then eventually make a decision if it's going to, break above whatever formation we take and it could come down or go up at this point there is nothing to call liquidity was above above this level and um, we've got the heat map let's have a look at that here we go the heat map so you can see the liquidity is slightly higher 64k so we've got to matching the previous high as well so there's a lot of liquidity there and well look we're to the bottom side and we tapped the first there's a bit there at uh, 62 394 62394 what we're going to do is look for the trade for the the range so what we'll tend to do is get our parallel that's our high that's our bottom and what we'll do is look for moves like that if it drops so we're going to start trading in the range and my my guess is that it, it might just come sweep we that's a definitely a buy signal and then continue on and then we'll see what what formation takes place but that from that perspective it might be it might have done the the micro wave five so if we were to look at this from an elite wave perspective let's just chuck that on Will give us a uh, its own version so you can see from here mm, okay one two three four five and you can see the abc type of correction that it suggests so if we just get rid of that for a sec i want to see for common values of fibonacci so if that's our one two okay so the one's there 
that's one roughly you can so if that's the case this looks short why two three looks short so let's see what let's see if this helps out if that's our wave one we might just go a bit higher one for one and that's 65 which also makes sense because take out the liquidity from here previous high and then come back down for an abc type of correction so wave five is probably not done yet i, I think wave five will be there this is um not the cleanest this could be wave three to four and then we could we could look at it again so um if this is wave three to four if that's our target Y4 might come down to this level potentially. Uh, Retapping this, okay. Touching this here. So from going back, pulling back to the point 382. Let's see if that works. So if we pull back to wave two, point, yeah, that's acceptable. So if we were to do this, give me a sec. Yeah, 0.5 is fine for Y3 to 4. 0.5 is enough. And that will take out a lot of the long, long squeeze and then go back up potentially. Um, otherwise, we will look at, let's say, the 0.302 is probably, if it's really bullish, then it's the 0.236. All right? So 0.236 is here. We can get a deeper pullback, and that there is a 21 day EMA. All right, so that's a weekly 21 moving average, which is a good sign of a bullishness because that was um, previous resistance. And uh, anyway, that, those are my thoughts. Why three to four potential pullback to the 0 0.382 or here, and then continue on to get a Y5. Um, common value maybe 1.414 I, I think we're likely to hit one point yeah we've got the 1.618 and the 1.27 and 1.786 that range would make y5 make sense as well just by common fib level um which also hits the liquidity and then comes back down for correction there's a lot of things that could possibly happen and and i think this is the way to look at it. It's bullish. That I would need to see how this takes place as well. If these indicators on the 4 hour drop a lot, then we are likely to drop a lot. Just keep an eye on this. Something like this. You can see how the momentum drops off. By, by all intentions, everything's bullish. Open interest is bullish. There's no negativity at this point. It makes sense with the point. 50 basis points with interest rates and uh, the money printing will probably push liquidity into the market so uh, the m2 has gone up and what's saying is there's a lot of liquidity in the market which probably goes into the crypto and uh and stock as well those are my thoughts guys please give me a like and share and i'll talk to you soon cheers there you have it please give sam a like share and subscribe to his channel to support him for doing more of these posts